All right, time now to check your first alert forecast. Going to feel like summertime around here in just a few days, Lon. Yeah, it's going to get nice out there. So here's your picture right now. And I've been saying all day, you got to look at this day as being the worst day of the work week. And it wasn't that bad outside. Right now, you're 55 degrees. Skies are mostly clear. Nice little shot of our skyline there. Things are looking good. You maxed out at 71. Your morning low is 55, 71 and 55. Basically, you're within one or two degrees in both the high and the low category, right where you should be. I do want to talk about this. The sun set tonight for the first time this year, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, it went down. You know what? You're starting a good long run of that because from now all the way through August 10th, it will be 8 o'clock or later. It maxes out an 831 sunset right around the summer solstice. August 11th, you're back to 759. You'll trim from there, but right now, all the way through August 10th, you are 8 o'clock or later. What do you expect, gang? Well, you got three top 10 days coming up. One real perfect day and two real good days as well, but you know, a perfect day. That's really up to the individual. Do you prefer the 70s? Do you prefer the 80s? Which one are you looking for? I always tell you, my favorite, my perfect day for me, temperatures in the 70s, maybe mid-upper 70s with sunshine. I love that. Well, that is looming out there. Will there be any pop-up storms during this three-day run where you have some warm air up to the you know, lower 80s on some days? Not this time. The reason we don't have the dynamics to support it. So could there be some rain? There is. The most likely chance would be on Saturday, but that's out here, and it rebounds nicely for Mother's Day. Looks great now for mom. What we see outside currently, there's not too much of anything. Up and over we go. High pressure fills in, stays in charge for a good long run. Now, let's, let's give you a different perspective on this. High pressure acts like, like, like a force field, and it keeps all these bouts of rain from really making a push on our area. We're protected by the high pressure system. Now, it keeps the rain out, but it will allow the warm air coming in, so you've got 80s to finish the week. The one hiccup, it looks to be on Saturday. So watch how the future cast is picking up on this. You know, Wednesday you look great, Thursday you look great, Friday you look great. By Saturday, this high is going to scoot a bit to the north, opens the door up for some of that rain to make its way in. It just doesn't last very long because by the time you get to Mother's Day, it drops back down into place and again insulates the area for mom to get a nice Mother's Day. Here are my numbers for tomorrow 73, a good looking day, and then you're going to go up from there. We are talking 80 degrees by the time you get to Thursday. We're talking 82 on Friday. Really nice run there. Saturday, 81. The, the thing with Saturday, as I showed you, there's that rain chance on Saturday, but it looks to exit nicely. And Sunday, we thought maybe Sunday and Monday held rain, and now I think Sunday and Monday look dry. It's Saturday's got a chance, and it's not crazy rain. Okay, okay big weekend, too. So. It, looks, it looks pretty good. A little bit of rain on Saturday. Thanks, Thanks Lon. Lon. Okay.